In many communities in BC's north, if you're looking for a conversation starter, mention healthcare. There's not enough of anything. The ambulance service is inconsistent as well. There was a lot more hands-on two years ago. Fraser Lake resident Dorothy Fitzpatrick's husband has been waiting two years for a new knee. Suddenly, there's another holdup. It was a surprise to me this week to have a referral for annual blood work and be told that the waiting list to have it done is two months out. So, you know, that's a new thing. New numbers from BC's Northern Health Authority highlight the root of the problem. 20% of all health care positions are unfilled. In the most remote locations, nursing vacancies are as high as 50%. People in the North suffer uh, disproportionately when they don't have any kind of service, even basic services. After more than a decade in nursing, Jeremy Bennett says he's never seen it this bad. The recent drop in staffing levels pushed him out of frontline nursing. And while I don't expect the same level of health care we have in Vancouver, I expect safe care. The health authority covers the northern half of BC with a population of 300,000 people spread out over an area larger than France. Staffing shortages have led to a number of repeated emergency department closures, diverting people hundreds of kilometres away, often forcing patients to pick up the bill for travel and hotels. It's a mix of anger, sadness and despair. A couple of years ago, this orthopedic surgeon operated on patients within about six months. Now he tells them he doesn't know how many years it could be. Government numbers show wait times for hip and knee replacements in the north are twice as long as the provincial average. And because of a shortage of primary care doctors and nurses, his patients are showing up in worse condition. If those are left to fester, that is diabetes, significant arthritis, immobility, um, generally weakening, you know, their, their results are poor. Northern Health says it has been able to fill 90% of its nursing needs through overtime and nurses from outside the region at a greater expense. It's expanding recruiting incentives while the province is adding new medical school spaces. Good steps, but advocates say northern communities need more. They have unique situations. They need to feel listened to and they can come up with strategies that um, could work for their community. Creative solutions they say are needed because people's lives are on the line. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Prince George.